Okay, Virgo. The underlying energy here is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. However, the energies of this card speaks of someone that is very good at communicating. Um, she cuts through the truth. She doesn't take bullshit, right? Uh, so the energy here is pretty much standing. It's not standing your ground, but it's like you're getting to the point where your truth matters um and where where truth is coming up to be very important for you now um with the queen of swords truth is very important she only speaks her truth she doesn't know any other way any other language other than the truth um than her truth right or other people's truth she doesn't she doesn't pretty she doesn't mess around when it comes to lies and stuff because if when she is lied to you there's that breaks the trust and you don't have a chance anymore. Like, if you were going to get some help from the Queen of Swords, it would be a completely obliterated. Um, so this week is centered around energies of possibly you guys feeling more, um, very, you know, s straight up with stuff. Feeling more, um, <clears throat> feeling more, um, uh, honesty oriented. Possibly this is a more logical and analytical week for you guys. Um, because things are kind of, you know, you're, trying, you're cutting away at the bullshit this week. And um, this is what it's focusing on. This could be somebody that you're dealing with as an air sign as well. Uh, someone that is, you know, very logical than emotional. Um, uh, but it could very well be you guys, you know, just wanting to get to the truth and only the truth. Um, now, the heart of the reading, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is um someone that is loving very nurturing uh someone that's very intuitive and very in tune to their feelings um they're not very express I mean, they, they express it they feel it so that's how they are they express it through their feelings um communicating it sometimes that's what the queen of swords is all about she's all about communicating and speaking her truth and saying things as whereas the queen of so queen of cups she just acts and she just feels um, she doesn't actually act. She just feels those things. She doesn't exactly communicate them. So one thing about the Queen of so Queen of Cups to remember is that she is all about the feels. She's all about how she feels. She's all about what she she is in tune to hearing, which is her feel, which is her emotions and her feelings and things. That's why she is very intuitive, and that's why she is a tarot card reader as well. Um, this is the problem circumstance, and it's crossed by the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is all about friendships, communities, support, um, a network of people. You know, it's a group, right? So this is speaking of possibly, you know, um, lack of support, maybe. There, you know, you're not getting that emotional support at this time. The Queen of Cups could also be a, a male. This is somebody that, with all these, the queens that come up. This, I mean, I like to see it as you guys, male or female. I like to see the queens as you guys. Are like This is something internal. And the kings as external. Um, but this is not always the case. A lot of times, the queen of cups could be someone that's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you're interacting with. And they're not providing enough support for you guys. Or you guys are feeling like that partner. Right? You guys, like I said before, you guys, this could be you guys feeling, being very much in touch with your feelings. And you guys are just dealing with a lack of support possibly right now. You're not for at least setting it around friends. You're kind of um, possibly being swallowed up by a group. You're kind of hidden in the shadows. You're not getting that support. Right? Um, so that is what's going on right now. So you guys are not getting that emotional support at this time. Um, the Queen of Cups is also someone that's very romantic as well. So perhaps there isn't any romantic stability. Oh, not romantic stability. But there isn't any kind of romantic um, support as well. The advice given for you guys this week is the Empress. Um, the Empress is uh, the manifestation card. <clears throat> She's also um, the motherly, the motherhood card. Uh, because she's um, she is the person that takes care. She's the caretaker. She um, nurturing. She's very nurturing. She's very patient, like a parent, like a mother would be. Um, 
I read this for some, um for I think it was Aries, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I read this for another sign, and I said it's time to have patience, as if you were uh, patience with a mother, as if a mother would have patience. Um, this one thing very prominent about mothers that they will, you know, they will be patient with their kids, right? I'm not saying to actually be patient, like, like with your like with anybody else, but you know, but be patient with yourself if needed. Um, However, with the rest of this reading, I honestly think this is is this isn't talking about patience. This is talking about manifesting. Um, this is talking about um, creating. Um, it's starting to, to create. This is a time for you guys to create something, to um, manifest and begin um, begin something. Okay, she isn't about beginning. She's about you know, like I said before, giving birth to new ideas, to children, to etc. Right? She is the manifest, the manifester, because she can just make anything she wants to exist happen. Um, she just, I mean, she just gives birth to gives gives birth to anything, right? So this is telling me that this is your time to manifest, to give birth to new ideas. To give birth to what um, to the support that you guys want, right? Um, since that is what you're lacking, but this is the time for you to manifest to do so, right? This is your opportunity. Go ahead and do so. Um, in the past, you guys had the tower, so something unexpected came and um, radically changed your world. Um, the tower card is about the is about is again it's another universe intervention card, but it's kind of um it's, a, it's definitely not an empty threat here it's um kind of like an ultimatum given by the universe if you don't do something that you need to do uh then that you know that you need to do then we will help you we'll help push push you in a situation where you have to do this have to do the thing that you're supposed to do um it's kind of it's like this is the saturn card card it's kind of like karma here so saturn is all about karma and doing what you need to do he will put your butt in gear. He will make sure you do what you're supposed to do. Or he'll help you do, you know, help you uh, towards your potential. If And it's most of the time, well, some of the time, it's not in a nice way. Okay. And especially with the cards falling up after this, I don't think it was very nice. Um, a lot of, sometimes the tower can surprise you with something wonderful, right? It could be a wonderful wonderful surprise because it's unexpected and you don't see it coming but if it's something that you were supposed to do and you hadn't done it then there is something then um it can leave you kind of discombobulated and having to work from the beginning having to start all over because as you see here the people coming out of the tower they put a lot of work and they you know they they you know they they grew it they did the work that they needed to do to build the tower and then lightning struck and now they got to start from ground zero okay so that's in the past so some unexpected change had um radically changed your life um in the present though you have the devil so this is about um attachments addictions old I mean, habits past um pa uh, possibly that you feel that you have no control over it, what you actually do because one thing about the devil here is that the two people sitting on the bottom, they have chains around their necks, but they don't look distressed. They're chilling, drinking, hanging out, right? This one, like the lady here, she can easily get out because her chains are just filled with flowers. So if she wanted to leave, she could just simply stand up, break the vines and be out, you know? But this is voluntary. This is something that they want to do. They don't want, they don't care to just hang out with the devil. With this, with this, the, these two people there, this speaks of a voluntary addiction. So it's something that is, that can be broken, but you decide not to. So there's could be some habits that are going on that you guys are like having to confront now. Um, maybe trying to break these, um, these addictions at this time, but there's definitely some sort of attachment of some sort that is like, that is voluntarily like. Like, this is kind of on you guys at this point because because it's you know like i said this is voluntary he doesn't make you stay it's up to you so for some of you guys this is, could be like a karmic relationship that you guys are attached to and those are not so very voluntary the karmic relationship um is very um very difficult to break out of okay um 
it's kind of it's it's the, pretty much like a deep and innate con- um, connection that you feel like you can't break, but you but in a way it's it's very weird. It's like you can, but you can't. It's so strange. Um, some of you guys could be having a connection with someone that is lacking in support, but you have some sort of connection with this with this person. It could be a, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or um, or an Air. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be some sort of connection in that sense, or there could be some habits that you have that you should be breaking at this time, um, or you should, or there's some habits that you're kind of you kind of went back to, and they're not really helpful. They when you have the devil come up in your present, that's just habits that you should let go of. They're not necessarily any habits that you should keep. But however, in your foreseeable future, you do have the devil. Sorry, the <laughs> you do have death. Uh, death. Is speaking of letting go of the past, like completely letting it die out. Okay. Letting it completely go, letting it just die. So that way you have a new beginning ahead. It's just, it's a, it's a slow mournful, uh, mournful kind of um, change here. As you see, there's, you know, it's sad, it's dark, it's kind of grim, but the process is purifying. What, the death is about is um pluto rules death okay pluto is all about purification so when you see this card you see yourself in the future purified so whatever in the past happened is completely died the you know it's it's coming it's 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 going it's going away it's going it's in the past you accept it for what it is and you let it go and you accept something new you let the new come to you because you let the past go if that makes sense so it's a transitional change here um that is like i said it can be very slow um but that's how you guys see that's how you guys see your um your foreseeable future okay um in your outcome though guys you have the page of swords so this is about speaking your truth being you know it may be tactless um, about, you know, about those truths that need, that's going to be said here. There could be a message that's kind of um, that's, um, very honest and cut to the, you know, cut to the chase. Not very cushiony, if that makes sense. It kind of um, lacks tact. But the point is that it's a truth that is being received or is going to be given in the results of all of this. Okay. Um, so that is, that's interesting. So, so far from what I'm getting here, um, the Queen of Swords is basically telling me that for this whole entire, um, for this, for like the energies for this week is speaking, is basically speaking your truth, um, cutting to the bullshit. Um, poss- actually it's possibly about being detached and letting, and like not feeling because the Queen of Swords is all about, you know, detachment. It's about detachment being kind of cold, right? That's one of the characteristics about air signs is that they can detach from a situation and analytically look at it. As the, the problem is, is the feels, obviously. There's no feels. Or there is feelings, but there isn't any support towards those. And right now, it's about accepting and understanding. Um, um, it's an understanding um, the, uh, those feelings, possibly. Or being the empress and being the caretaker, taking care of yourself, if this is you and you're single, or taking care of your partner in regards to um, the feelings. And the empress is, again, the manifestation card, so perhaps this is a time for you to manifest. Romance, right? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. Okay, so this is about expression. Now, the Looks, Queen of Swords is excellent about expression because all that is is communication, right? She's all about communication, but she's detached as well. The Queen of Cups, she's very romantic. She's all about her feels, but she lacks expression, okay? She's very romantic, but she doesn't express that, okay? Because that's what the Queen of Swords is about. So it's so perhaps this is for you. This is a time for you not only to be a caretaker and for yourself um, if needed um, or for your partner. But this is also time for you to manifest the romantic, romantic um, support between two people. Um, I don't think this is a third-party relationship at all, um, because I don't see anything else. 
I don't see any other card other than the Three of Cups. I don't see this as a third-party relationship. Some of you guys could be dealing with a third-party relationship with the, with the Queen of Cups. But I don't think so, okay? Uh, especially now with the cards coming up here. Um, for your Wisdom Oracle card, you have Serendipity. And this is just speaking about luck being on your side right now, guys. This is a time for you definitely to manifest... Um, a romantic support, a romantic support network for your, um, for your yourself or your for your, for you and your lover, or your partner, um, because luck is on your side. This is a change of, it's like a change of, uh, it's like the wheel of fortune. You know, the wheel of fortune is about change of luck, um, and things like that. So with serendipity, this is saying luck is on your side. You can do whatever you want to do because luck is on your side. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So. Sum up this whole reading, guys. Express your love. Ex express um, express how you feel. Don't let those things bottle up inside. Create that network of um, of support for yourself and for your love. If you guys have a partner, okay. Work on those bad habits so that way you can transition to a more stable. Sorry, not so more stable, but to a more um, transitioning and healthy new beginning. Because after death, there's only something that there's only can be something new. 